here we go. Here we go. What is this? What the heck just happened? Oh, no. Hell no. Chris Angel Pro? Oh, man. Come on, bro. Why are people... Oh, it's adventure time, guys. Look, it's adventure time. Yay. They're going to levitating over the ocean like Chris Angel. Hey, Cujo. At least they brought us some dogs. What on, Cujo? My body flies over the ocean. My body flies over the sea. Yo. Honestly, this is pretty cool. This ain't that bad. I mean, if I have to be in a lobby with a hacker, I mean, at least he's taking me on a trip. <laughs> what the? What a bunch of nerds, man. Reloading. So, as we all know by now, Black Ops 2 is still hacked to crap, unfortunately. But you know what, fellas? Not all hackers and modders are bad people. There's actually some pretty cool modders out there. Uh, ever since I uploaded my video, uh, Black Ops 2 in 2020, it's still hacked. If you guys missed it, I will pin it at the top of the comment section. But ever since I uploaded that video, man, a bunch of these modders and hacker dudes been reaching out to me saying, Hey, man, not all of us are, are bad guys. Like, you know, like that nerd was in the video that was using zombie weapons and force choking people like Count Dooku and blocking all the windows and doors with cars. Hey, oh, by the way, can you imagine if that nerd was playing Modern Warfare? Oh, my goodness. How fun would that be, man? He could go around and block all Joe Seesaw's doors and windows with cars. <laughs> I don't know, man. That dude's an even worse valet parker than Call of Duty player, man. Imagine playing an entire game with god mode and zombie weapons, and you can't even get a VTOL. <laughs> anyway, man. So, RIP to Black Ops 2, everybody. I mean, it's there is no going back. I mean, at this point now, we can only hope for a remaster. And a lot of people are like, yo, did you go back and play Black Ops 1? Yes, I did, fellas. Yes, 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 I did. And my goodness, man, the lag... The lag was absolutely game-breaking, man. It was ten times worse than I remember. And you know, the, the ghost dudes are still sitting in corners, man. I mean, bro, I, I don't know. Plus, only using one attachment on a weapon felt kind of... Uh, I mean, it seems like Activision is just doing their best to make sure we stop playing the older CODs and play the newer CODs. You know, the ones that got supply streams in them. I am the one, the one, Yo, Ash Gamer Girl, what's up, baby? How you doing? Yo! I think I run into Ash Gamer Girl at least once a month out here in these lobbies, but that's... You know, if this was Modern Snorfare, I'd be seeing her probably daily. I'd be seeing her daily in Modern Snorfare, man. <laughs> oh my goodness, sit down, son. These bunny hopping sweats, man. Oh my goodness. Yeah, fellas, that's right. I'm using the VMP this game. Now, normally, I'm humiliating these VMP sweats in my videos. Uh, but today, I figured, what the hell, man? Let's bust out the old VMP cheese, and let's be a VMP nerd for one game here. And, yo, this VMP is just dirty, fellas. How do you like to run it, man? Drop your VMP class setup down in the comment section. I know a lot of you VMP sweats love watching my videos, man. Me, I just like using it with long barrel and fast mags. Man. I think that's the only two attachments I get on this weapon right now. I mean, honestly, all you really need on this weapon is uh, no attachments. This is a weapon you could use all, like, six perks on and just run around and dominate with. But if you have to use attachments on this weapon, yeah, long barrel and fast mag are just amazing. And every once in a while, I'll slap a silencer on here, too. But anyway, fellas, so... It's the weekend, and COD 2020 still nowhere to be seen. I mean, when you figure that March 8th was when they announced Black Ops 4, and here we are almost in June, and we still haven't heard or seen anything except the rumor that COD 2020 is going to be Call of Duty Cold War. Uh, let me ask you guys this, man. Do you think this game will have a battle royale? I don't know if they even need to make one, man. Because Warzone is super popular. Like, if you're playing Call of Duty Battle Royale right now, I mean, Blackout is great, and uh, Warzone is super popular, man. Over 50 million players, plus all these Call of Duty channels out here that used to upload multiplayer. A lot of them are just strictly on Warzone now. Uh, the views are incredible, man. Warzone is blowing up so many channels right now. And I'm just sitting here wondering... If it's because it's free, I think it being free has got a major, uh, major role to play in why the game is so successful. And man, I'm just hoping they make multiplayer free uh, in COD 2020, man, because that's a lot more people interested in playing the multiplayer. 
a lot more people on YouTube searching up videos, you know what I'm saying? Not that I really do that many tutorial videos. This channel is more of like just a gameplay channel, you know what I mean? And not that I'm a, a gameplay guy like Mark and Jay or nothing, but it's more of just like me playing the game and talking about the game. Like, you know, every once in a while I'll do my patch notes and my update vids and stuff. And yo, Ash Gamer Girl, man, look at this slide piece. Nice, Ash, nice. She's like, that's what you get for tearing me up when I was AFK. Yeah, I got you, fool. <laughs> yo, shout out to Ash Gamer Girl, man. Oh, um, <laughs> but uh, I think if multiplayer was free, I don't know if it would be as successful as Battle Royale. Well, definitely not Modern Snorfare 2019. I, I don't think Modern Snorfare 2019 multiplayer would be nearly as popular as Warzone if it was free. I mean, Warzone had over 50 million players on it, remember? They said they had 50 million users log in to play Warzone. I don't think that many people are on the multiplayer, man, especially when you factor that I run into the same people every time I hop on there and play. I mean, even with some people say, oh, the only reason you're seeing all these, all these people is because of skill-based matchmaking, but I don't know. Oh, damn, Ash Gamer Girl going ham. Ash, get off me, girl. Damn. But uh, even with uh, thick skill-based matchmaking, I mean, 50 million people? You ain't gonna run into the same dudes all the time with 50 million people on multiplayer. Uh, and, and look at this, man. I just blew up two ammo boxes, and I did not die. And I got score for it. <laughs> Can you, I cannot believe Modern Snorfare got rid of the score streak system, dude. One of the best things ever, man. I hope Call of Duty Cold War brings back the EKIA. I hope they bring back the score streak system. Dude, I hope they bring back a lot of stuff, fellas. Honestly, I'm like, I'm, I'm anxious to see what Treyarch is going to bring us, but I'm kind of nervous at the same time. None of us really know what Activision is forcing Treyarch to do here, uh, how to make this game. Uh, I really don't know who has creative control in making a game. Like, does Activision tell Treyarch, okay, make a Cold War game, and then that's it? Or does Activision tell Treyarch, you know, exactly how they want the game to be? Like, yo, put up some safe spaces, make sure there's no mini-map, make sure there's no dead silence. I mean, who, who makes those decisions, man? Is it Activision or is it the developer? Like, whose idea was it to remove the map vote? I mean, that's got to be one of the dumbest ideas I've ever seen in my life in Call of Duty. Why would you not have a map vote, man? I mean, just it, <laughs> Modern Warfare 2019 multiplayer did so many bizarre things, dude. But uh, maybe it was a plan to try and get everyone off multiplayer and into Battle Royale. I mean, Call of Duty used to be, you know, multiplayer for me, man. Like, when I think Call of Duty, I'm thinking multiplayer. But a lot of people now, Call of Duty is becoming Battle Royale, bro. And honestly, dude, me personally, I hate to see it because I'm really not a Battle Royale player. But maybe I should become one, fellas. Maybe I should just adapt to a new game mode. I don't know. It just seems like Battle Royale is blowing up right now everywhere. Like, everyone's playing it. Multiplayer is... I don't know, man. Is Treyarch going to make multiplayer great again, fellas? That's what I'm really hoping. That's why I'm kind of hoping that this Call of Duty, COD 2020, they don't need to even have a Battle Royale, man. How many Battle Royale games can you make? Look at Fortnite. Fortnite don't come out with a new Fortnite every year. They just keep updating the Fortnite map. So, hopefully... This is what Treyarch and Activision have in store for us in 2020. Hopefully, they just focus on a good campaign, good zombies, and good multiplayer. Because you've already got Warzone, dude. Like, Call of Duty, Activision. You guys got Warzone. Let all your Battle Royale players stay on Warzone. They could play that for years. Just keep up updating the map. Or if you like Treyarch Battle Royale, you already got Blackout. Just keep updating the Blackout map. I I'm really hoping COD 2020 does not have... A battle royale in it i just want these dudes for once please focus on multiplayer remember multiplayer call of duty damn we miss a good multiplayer man have everybody focus on making a bomb multiplayer this year fellas i want to see cod cold war multiplayer get the same kind of love and affection that activision be showing battle royale i want them to show that affection back to multiplayer again man make the multiplayer free Okay, put a supply stream in there or battle pass or whatever so you can still make money off it. I want to see multiplayer free. I want to see the hype for multiplayer back, baby. Battle Royale has stolen multiplayer's thunder. And in COD 2020, I want to see multiplayer. I want to see it back, man. I want to see multiplayer great again, man. And speaking of things I don't want to see, man, look what happened to Black Ops 2, fellas. Oh, my goodness, bro. Look at this, man. Bro, you hate to see it, man. You hate to see it. Black Ops 2, I will always love this game, man. 
But this game is like an old friend you used to have that you ain't seen in 10 years. I mean, just look at the lag, bro. Oh my god. This game is like an old friend, like your best friend you haven't seen in 10 years. Then you run into him again and find out he's all strung out on meth. You know what I'm saying? He just He's just a complete shambles of his former self. That's what this game has become. Look at this, man. Oh my goodness.